Hi guys, I decided to record this video because I got numerous emails, uh, you know, inquiring about this topic. I'm going to talk about caregivers. Before I start, I would kindly ask you to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to, uh, don't forget to press uh, that bell because the bell, you know, helps you to get notified when I'm posting new videos. And usually my schedule is, you know, Wednesdays and uh, Sundays. Again, about the sharing, it's really important that you share some information with other people because you do not know uh, if there are some people in your, you know, uh, Facebook list, friend list, you know, who have aspiration to come to Canada and maybe that video actually will, uh, will help them. Uh, recently, I got a client who came to me by seeing my video on somebody else, you know, Facebook uh, Facebook wall so it was interesting you know uh, so I think that you should share you know information sometimes because you know it, you never know whom it can help I always share information even if it's not you know uh, you know related to my uh, current job occupation okay so uh, I'm talking about caregivers unfortunately I have to disappoint you but living caregiver program is not accepting new applications since June 18 uh, 2019 but they uh, introduced two new pilot programs called home child care uh, provider pilot and home support work uh, support worker pilot so there are two pilots and they are uh, introduced as a five-year plan program so they they will be uh, they will run them for five years I don't know if they will extend them like you know for example Atlantic immigration pilot program is not anymore pilot it's permanent program so maybe these uh, these two will be successful and you know they decide to make them permanent so through these two pilot programs you can still apply even if you are outside of Canada so I will explain everything. Um, there are so many information about this. So I will divide, you know, this topic into two, three videos. So you have to, uh, you know, you have to watch all three in order to get a clear, uh, to get a clear picture. It's really important because sometimes, you know, you discover my second part or third part, and then you are asking me questions below the video and you didn't, you know, check on my channel playlist if there are other videos about that. So before you do anything, always check in my, you know, playlist if there are, you know, other videos about the topic you are interested in in okay so and then you can always ask a question send an email you know you can schedule a private zoom consultation as well you know uh, by sending uh, your resume to english conversations 26 at gmail.com so let's start so for now uh, these two pilots will accept 2750 applicants uh, each uh, for 2022, the home child care provider pilot is closed because as of January 17, they all they have already received uh, that number 2,750 applications, and it will be reopened on January 1st, 2023. So for 2022, one less pilot. So you are left with only one pilot, and that is home support worker pilot, which is still open so they have to reach that cap of 2750 applications and then they will uh, stop that pilot as well for this year for this year for 2022 so for me it's uh, really important that you understand that only two NOCs can participate that's home child care provider 4411 this one is currently closed for 2022 and we have home support worker 4412 which is still open. So for those of you, I'm repeating, home support worker, NOC 4412, you can still apply. Another thing, this is aimed our Canadian employers. You cannot bring caregivers from abroad anymore through LMIs. So this is not the case. You have to apply through one of these programs. So right here on the government website, you have three options how you as a caregiver can apply through one of these 
programs. So you have options when you don't have any qualifying work experience, you have option when you have some qualifying work experience, but less than 20, uh, 24 months. And the third option, you have 24 or more months uh, of qualifying work experience. So there are three work experiences, which I will discuss in the next video. I just wanted to um, make this int introduction, uh, you know, to these programs. So you know what's your current situation. To sum it up, in 2022, you can still only apply to home support, uh, home support worker pilot 4412 NOC. Home support work uh, work pilot is still open. They didn't reach that cap of, uh, you know, 2,750 applications, and you can still apply. So for all the inquiries regarding these programs, you can go on the link in the description box below. So first watch the video, then go to that link and read everything about it. So obviously there are more details. I cannot put everything, you know, into the recording. Uh, I will be continuing this topic in the following videos. So I hopefully, you know, some of you will find it useful. Again, if you need help with the job search in Canada, please don't forget to contact me at englishconversations26 at gmail.com. It's really crucial when you're contacting me to put your resume. I want to thank you again. So um, look for. I'm looking forward to recording the new videos about you know um, these uh, this uh, pilot program. Bye.